Well, hi everybody, I hope that your week is off to a great start. Uh, we have a lot going on uh, right today. Uh, happy March 1st, uh, what the weather folks refer to as the beginning of meteorological spring, March, April, May. Yahoo, that sounds like a really good thing to me. Second, of course, today is Mardi Gras. We hope that you have a little bit of festivity planned for today before our feasting turns into fasting tomorrow on Ash Wednesday. And so uh, with Ash Wednesday, of course, we inaugurate the wonderful season of spiritual renew our, renewal, our annual 40-day retreat together, the season of Lent. Uh, do make plans to join us tomorrow at Mass, which includes the distribution of ashes at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., along with the students and staff, faculty of St. Maria Goretti Catholic High School, and 7 p.m. All Masses are in the church, and the distribution of ashes will take place following the homily. So we look forward to seeing you there. Also, uh, we commend everyone to respond to the special invitation and encouragement of Pope Francis to mark tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, in a very special way as a special day of prayer and fasting for the people of Ukraine and for the uh, cessation of hostility and for the return of peace uh, to Ukraine and to Eastern Europe uh, in a particular way, along with wherever there is strife and oppression and discord happening in our world. Uh, Pope Francis has encouraged all people of goodwill to make tomorrow a very special day of prayer and fasting for peace in Ukraine, and we commend that prayer to your um, prayer activity tomorrow. Uh, also, with the season of Lent, uh, our Lenten small groups will begin, and it's probably not too late to sign up if you'd like to be a part of one or like to... Uh, uh, host one at a time that works well for you. Just reach out and contact our parish office. We love to include and expand as many uh, small groups during this six or seven week season of Lent as we can. Uh, we find ourselves standing here, of course, in the sacristy uh, where we're getting ready for Ash Wednesday tomorrow. We have our ash, we have our containers, we have our bowl, our soap and towel to wash it all off with after we administer it. And so we hope that you'll be inspired uh, to make this Ash Wednesday a truly special and meaningful one for you and your household. As we launch into the season of Lent, make plans for this Friday, March 4 at 6 p.m. for the first of our Soup, Suppers, and Stations of the Cross, hosted this time by our middle school and high school students who will present their Shadow Stations uh, rendering of the Stations of the Cross. For those who have seen it before, it's really very powerful and very moving, and if you've not had a chance to, it's a, it'll be a really great way to get your season of Lent off to a prayerful and powerful start. The prayer begins in church at 6 p.m. and then will be followed by a simple soup supper in the Jerusalem room following. So that's this Friday, March 4, 6 p.m., Shadow Stations of the Cross. As we continue to move through Lent, uh, we invite you to make plans in your calendar for the third Friday of Lent and the fifth Friday of Lent, where we will also celebrate Stations of the Cross and Soup Suppers. As we move into Lent, we also make another move, and that is a move of modification in our virus protocol uh, activities. Beginning tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, with the season of Lent, in light of recent guidance that we have received from the Archdiocese of Baltimore, from the Centers for Disease Control, and our, we have continued to monitor very closely the health metrics of Washington County, uh, it is now uh, at a point where we can no longer need to ask folks to wear masks for masses uh, on the weekends or at other times. The wearing of masks will remain optional, of course, if you feel comfortable doing so. Uh, you're most welcome to do so, and whether one chooses to wear a mask or not, we always will treat everyone with complete respect for the health and personal choices uh, that we're all called upon to make. So uh, beginning uh, tomorrow, uh, masks will be optional and we will return to uh, the cantor leading song at the music stand up front. Congregational singing will be encouraged. Our contemporary ensemble and our adult choir and handbell choirs will be resuming their rehearsals and in a couple of weeks they'll be ready to resume ministering music and song at liturgy as well. Uh, our Parish Life Commission will be resuming its activities of hosting social opportunities that help us to bond and connect each other together in the relationships that we share. 
as a community of faith-filled disciples and our bereavement luncheon team will begin to offer uh, their uh, ministry to families who are uh, mourning the loss of a loved one with uh, funeral rites here at our church. So, uh, lots going on, uh, encouraging, hopeful signs that spring is on the doorstep, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow and uh, throughout the season of Lent, that this time of uh, special prayer, fasting, and almsgiving will open us even more fully to the saving love of God made flesh for us in Christ, to embrace even more powerfully his suffering, dying, and rising as faith-filled disciples. And we pray in a special way throughout this season, too, for the participants in our Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, the RCIA process, who will now be coming closer in this period of intense preparation for them to celebrating their sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist at the Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday night. So, be well, keep safe, and God bless you.